More new at 11 tonight. A baby injured, and now two people are facing charges. Now, Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Bob Hazen, you're talking to one person who says Facebook actually helped sound the alarm. The two year old girl's father and his girlfriend are here in the jail right now. And police say that little girl was covered in bruises and cuts and had an ear infection that went untreated for so long, doctors say it could have killed her. A heartbreaking picture of a two year old girl injured in the hospital. Police say the injuries happened at this home in Blahnox, and her father, 30 year old Philip Clark, and his girlfriend, 28 year old Elise Aronques, are to blame. A lot of us didn't think that Elise would go to these measures. This woman who didn't want to show her face on TV because she fears retaliation said she's known Aronkes for years and grew increasingly worried about pictures like these that she says Aronkes shared on Facebook. Pictures of the kids, you know, and how many times they take the kids to the hospital every week and is quite sickening. Police say when the two year old was brought to Children's Hospital last week, doctors found she had chunks of hair torn out, extensive bruising on her head, cheeks, and stomach, dried blood on her ear, and a serious infection of the mastoid bone caused by an untreated ear infection, which could have been fatal. Bill Novak lives next door and said he could often hear Aronkes cursing at the children. I can definitely hear him uh, screaming, uh, not like you would want to talk to a child. Police say Aronkes told investigators the little girl is, quote, a horrible child to deal with, and she admitted getting physical with her, saying, quote, she's had to push the girl's eyes open and smacked her lightly in the face to get her to focus. Now, Aronkes and Clark are facing charges for endangering children. Aronkes also charged with aggravated assault. The couple is being held here at the jail. Their bail set at $100,000. And people close to the family tell me the little girl is recovering. She's out of the hospital right now, staying in a foster home. Reporting live at the Allegheny County Jail, Bob Hazen, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.